Join thousands of content economy professionals spanning broadcast, media, and entertainment right here at NAB Show New York. Ashley with In Broadcast. I'm joined by Simon of Bridge Technologies, who is partnering with 2110 Solutions. Hi, nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you again. And it's just a wonderful show. It is. It's day one. It's packed. No kidding. So, you know, it's been super busy, and we're so happy to be here in New York to showcase all the great stuff that we showed first at IBC, and then, of course, now here for a very, very starving market because the whole market is in dire need of real applications which can actually benefit the new form of production technologies that came along with uncompressed video, video over IP. Now we can use all of that technology to transform how we are doing things and that is really useful things. So that's very exciting. Very exciting. And what trends are you seeing right now that your company fits into in the media and broadcasting world? Well, first of all, that people are desperate into making a lot more with a lot less. And that's, that's actually a lot of equipment that it's capable of doing, thank goodness. But we haven't reached a stage where you can actually then condense all this in, in a form factor, kind of a tenth of what we are looking at today. And the form factor is important, infrastructure investment is important, and of course usability for the creatives. It needs to be easier to use than ever, and you have to then be able to cater for creatives no matter where they are. And can you tell me a little bit about your partnership, Bridge Technologies, with 2110 Solutions? Absolutely. It's our dear friend, uh, Joe Lograsso, which we've known for many, many years. And he decided to create his own company, which focuses only on 2110 type uh, solutions. And we were one of our, our uh, you know, the, the big mainstays of products. And he's been very, very successful. We now have the majority of the tier ones as customers here in the US, and we're very proud of that. Very good, and what, what's everyone showcasing here at NAB? I believe there's a lot of talk about the two letter words, which I'm not going to say, and uh, a lot of other things. It's the, the trend is going for more and more software solutions, but then again, I don't really care because it's not about technology, it's not about you know, different this or that. It's about usability. We need to get to another kind of level of usability in this business. And that is what we are trying to showcase. Yeah. And so what are you currently highlighting right now here at the show? Well, the most important I say is all the HDR tools because since the Olympics, everybody's flocking towards HDR. Now you have to be able to deliver any kind of significant high value content in HDR. And we now have the capability of doing very advanced HDR previewing inside a web browser with extreme accuracy. Also color transpositions, you can then have all the different from PQ to HLG to S-Log3, everything with all the LUTs inside the browser again. We have speaker control so you can control digital speakers with AES67 audio straight from the 440 in any kind of data center. So we have quite a lot of new stuff and that makes it very exciting. Very good. And any more about future developments or your latest developments, what we could expect in the near future from Bridge Technologies or 2110 Solutions? First of all, usability. What we try to do is to be one of these Swiss army knives, you know, with a lot of different functions so that you can do, again, a lot more with less. The other thing is the capability of scaling this thing. So suddenly you have, you know, not only a couple of cameras, you can have 36 cameras in one kind of venue, and everything can be done with remote shading, remote technical operations, with full immersive audio, full immer immersive Dolby Atmos decode, uh, goodness, I have no more words of all these things that you can do within our kind of system. And that's the whole point, to provide something to build the next generation infrastructure where you don't need all these cables, you don't need all this power, you can do a lot with power over Ethernet and Ethernet itself. Absolutely. Staying ahead of the game. Love it. Oh, yes. So we look forward to all the things to come. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you, Ashley.